Hi, I'm Julie Scott, and I'm here in downtown Halifax, and I'm asking the public what they think about the conflict happening in the Middle East. I don't trust Israel because it's like, I hate to say it, but if you have America backing you this much, you're doing something sketchy. And I know it's, I understand that like, Israel's supposed to be the home of the Jewish people, but someone should have thought of that back when they came over and decided to start wiping out brown people. It's really despicable the way that um, a lot of like celebrities and stuff, like US celebrities have been open about, you know, um, how they want to free Israel and like stuff like that. They've been talking about helping Israel and stuff. And it's like a lot of celebrities and people with power that can speak never know the true extent of what is going on. I understand, you know, how difficult the Hamas attack must have been. Um, but I think the response has been really disproportionate and especially brutal. Um, so I'd really love to see a ceasefire. Um, and you know humanitarian <laughs> yes. intervention yep. i just think that like our leaders the people we elect should be doing more because that's our job that's yep. what we put them in position for i'm pro-palestinian because i'm pro myself i am palestinian my dad was born in palestine okay yeah and then he had to leave in 1967 okay. because that's when the west bank yes. was um was a next it's a genocide mm -hmm. a Second of all, uh, a recognition that it's a genocide that's been happening for 75 years. It's not new. Mm -hmm. And that Israel has to be held accountable for excessive force and civilian death. It becomes a kind of a picky topic of any time you say anything against Israel, it's seen as anti-Semitic instead of just anti-war crime. What Hamas is doing is, again, terrible, but it's also a, a government that's doing this, not the actual people. Advocate for a ceasefire. It's, yeah, Israel is, yeah, questionable yeah. and committing genocide against the Palestinians, so I'm pro ceasefire, yeah. You know, Israel is covering up what's going on, um, but uh, I just feel kind of hopeless, like, yeah. what do we do? It's the Palestine uh, land. Uh, it should be driven back to them. People should seriously take a look at, you know, whatever media they're consuming um, in on either side anyway, and just, you know, try to do their research as much as, much as possible before putting out a de definitive statement uh, in either way. So our government sent a lot of money to Israel and a fairly small amount to Gaza, and Gaza's hurting a lot right now. So... I, I think that we should not be hiding behind the money that we send to these places and maybe trying to do a little bit more to stop violence in all its forms. So, yeah. I think there's a, a great need for peace on both sides and that the people that are, I guess, in the power right now in the countries that are um, at odds with each other uh, need to take a step back.